Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to test VS Code extension. We're going to go through the current way of testing using VS Code test and what has worked for me and we'll go through a real world example of adding these tests in a real VS Code extension that I have. So first of all, the current way of testing is using VS Code test. So it walks you through, this guide walks you through all you know the installation process, what things you add and all that. So we'll go through uh, an example which is in VS Code extension sample. So we're going to download this in our local system. So we're going to git clone and that URL. So this has uh, many sample VS Code extension that you can spin up and try it out and see what is the uh, expectation, uh, like how the code should look like when you're building a VS Code extension, right? So we're going to go inside the folder VS Code extension samples and these are all the extensions like different uh, like basic functionalities so we're gonna go through like some hello world examples so hello if i do that and we're gonna go to this test cli one which has the current method of testing so if i go to the package short recent files you will see test vs code test if i go back with my password uh, if i go back and go to this page you will see this is exactly what is there in the package.json right so it's going to call that cli so to start with this so i will open this in vs code because we are like building a vs code extension itself we're not going to open the whole thing we're going to open the specific folder we're going to go in there and just do vs code and open the package.json so we need to do npm install first so that we have all the packages so it looks like we have all the packages here now and let's try to go to the test file so if you see here we have src folder we have the test and we have the extension test.ts and uh, that is the file that has the test so what if we just uh, try to run this using um, npm test right so it is doing the compilation it's downloading the vs code which is what's needed to test your VS Code extension. Just downloaded that and open that and it says sample test passed. Right? So if let's try to change this test. So if we do assert strip equal and do two comma two and run the npm test again. Now it says failed. So let's see what's happening, right? So this is the issue I had. So it says warning IPC handle uh, this 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 try a short error. So I looked this up on a GitHub issue. So if I go back to my GitHub page, and not my GitHub page, the issue page, this person has exactly the same error if you see here. And what's being suggested is, as you see, it works in the first run, but it doesn't work in the later runs. So deleting VS Code test folder works around. So let's see if that does and why should we delete this folder in the first place. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code and see there's a folder called VS Code Test and it has like the VS Code itself, the app itself, and it has all these things. So let's try to do that. So let's try to like delete RM, RF VS Code Test. Delete that and let's go back and run the test again. And it's gonna do the same thing, it's gonna compile, download the VS code in your system. And let's see what happens with the error again. So that doesn't didn't fix it for me. So I try to make this work quite a while. I don't know what exactly should I change to make this work. I have no idea why is it working the first time. So what I ended up doing was let me just close this and let me just go back to terminal and go to an example that ended up working for me so which was hello world test sample i believe let's see if that's the one so package.json yeah you'll see here it has a different uh testing way so let's open this vs code and see what is the difference right so code and hello world test sample and package.json and it has this test and it's not using the CLI number one, and maybe that's because it's five years old, and it doesn't use the CLI, right? At that time, probably the CLI didn't exist. 
uh, we can actually clarify by github but let's let's forget about that similar to the previous one we have this test folder which has under the suit and we have extension dot test and we have all these tests and all this like complaining here so probably because we haven't installed npm install so let's do that install all the packages uh yeah now it seems to be happy and let's try to do the same thing npm run test so doing the same thing still and downloading the vs code and yep sample test just like not colorful but i think it's the old way but it works first time it just complains that we are not using the shorter disk still what happens if we just change the test and you know um uh, change it to 5.5 still a valid test and run again let's see we still get the same error regarding user dirt. but the difference now is i have a few files that are available to me if you see that facilitate the testing itself right so i found so if you look at uh, there's one more file called run test and this has this thing called run test so this is already there so I found, so if i go to one of the repositories where i have found the hack for this and if i go to my pull request start up testing and files changed and find the specific file uh, which is run test there you go and find this block right await run test you'll see here i am passing this argument called use the data like user data there let's comment this out and we can't use os because we need just need to import this i believe and we just import that OS model has no default import. I think that's because we're using an older version of something. Let's try to run this still, right? So if I just go here, let's see if it's able to run it without errors. One found error, no default export. If it worked in the other one, it does, it does not work here. What could that be? So if I go here, go to my actual one, and TS config. Maybe I just need to copy this and go to VS Code. Go to the TS config. Does it have a TS config? TS config. And let's try to paste this here and delete this. Yep, now it goes away. I think it's largely because of complaining about all this now because uh, replace import mocha with that and let's see the glob import glob I think it should be fine now okay so it's largely because of the TS config if I look at here I think it's because of the specific version I don't, like I'm not a TypeScript developer but this is like some uh, specific version that's using it looks of that so now let's try to run um, the test again right so if i go here npm run test let's see if it errors out now it does not so and let's try that again just to make sure it doesn't it does not so it works so this is the way it worked for me and I want to also show you like how how does it look when the test fails so if, let's say five is not obviously equal to nine so this test now should fail yep expected actual so five nine right five is not equal to nine which is why it's failing so we, so in this specific test we can uh, it the advantage is it has access to vs code apis right and also to add multiple tests you can do something like this and let's do like nine uh, eight and eight and then do we can do um, another test and we can do a one failing one right so you can see like how does it look when uh, 
uh, we can do this will fail and let's make this 7 and ru let's run this test so it says sample test pause another test pause spelling mistake but yeah this will fail has um, is failing right so it's like expected it doesn't match the actual yeah so that is how we would add a test and if you want to add multiple test files you can just add that here so if you add a new file yeah and make this um, let's say another one another dot test dot ts and you can just copy the contents you can just copy the contents from this and then do um, another test and just do that oh copy the wrong thing so you can name something different this would be like another one let's remove all these right and do assert apple banana and run oops wrong directory and do npm run test so it will say apple is not equal to banana right so that's uh, our so it will also show you that this is the sample test and there will be like another one that is like in a separate folder so as you can that's how you can i mean that's how i have structured my test so far so i'll show you an example of uh, how it looks like for my specific extension so the extension i'm talking about is the extension that i'm working on here which is vs code data form tools it allows you to like perform uh like show a dependency graph of your tree like show errors in your sql pipeline and get some auto completion and all that so the current feature i'm working on is formatting your data form uh, file just using javascript no external dependencies and for the formatting so i'll probably like walk you through an example of what exactly i'm testing right so to give you a real world example so if i just close this window and go back and go to the specific directory where it is in so this is a testing setup and if i just open this here and go to one of my tests so if i do simple test okay this is a javascript file that's not the correct one simple test and dot ts okay so this is a simple test so i'll just walk you through the different lines here so what i'm doing is i'm importing a specific function here which I, which I have in my uh, SQL parser file. So what is that doing? So just to high level walkthrough of that, it's trying to find out where the config block starts and ends, where the SQL query block starts and ends, right? So if you imagine one a starting block here, six is the end, nine is the starting block of SQL, and the end is 45. So if I go back to my test and see, so this function i'm asserting that sql's meta block start config block start is one end is six start line of the sql block is nine and is 45 and these are the blocks which uh, i don't have a specific they're not existing in that specific file but they are probably existing in the other file so the length is zero so if i run the same test here uh, if i go to the terminal and do npm run test So you open that, let's see what's wrong. So SQL meta block parsing assertion expected value to be equal. One is not equal to two, right? So let's see. Config with multiple pre-operation blocks. So if I go here, so if I try to find this, That's the wrong copy paste. Uh, I'll try to find this. And oh, first mistake all of them are named the same. But the one that's failed is this, right? So, so 
to go here. So the one with multiple pre-operation blocks has failed. It's probably because the post-operation block, let's see where it has exactly failing. One is not equal to two. So you can, you can also do is you can try to add a break pointer in here and try to debug those errors as well, which is like an important thing. So you can try and run not the extension itself. Uh, you can run the test, right? So it should stop there. It has not stopped. Why? Is it because it's already failed? Let's see. Is that a breakpoint here? doesn't work but I believe it's because of the fact that the file is different so let's actually change that so let's do git status so I'm gonna git restore and src test test workspace definitions open so now if I run the test again all passes right they all pass but one thing I'm concerned about is why didn't the debugger stop it has worked for me before so for example maybe it's because it's configured to only stop at sim this one is it but it has stopped here which is strange um, so the thing is you should be able to do something like this okay centering out Maybe it's an issue with the debugger I'm having. I'm gonna have multiple tests perhaps. Interesting nevertheless. But yeah, you can run these tests, add these tests, and uh, make sure that your output is right. For example, what if the there was an actual error in the code, then you would be able to catch it using the test, right? So this is where I'm at. So I need to figure out why exactly the debugger is not working. But if you guys know what mistake I'm making, I'm still working on this pull request at the moment. So I might be able to figure out why exactly is it not working and why, how can I probably set up in future using the CLI itself, which is here. Yeah. So just going back to things I wanted to cover. So I think we already covered what has worked for me and the real world example. Yeah. So feel free to like drop a like button not like button feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the video if you find this useful and uh, leave some comments if you know a better example or, or something some error that i'm making while doing this thank you